Hello, this is Kyron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes and please leave what does not. Okay. Now, I had started a reading previously, but somehow it got cut off. So, I'm just going to start it again. I didn't only got like two minutes into it anyway, but I was already talking about these cards. So I had a little bit of time to meditate on them. And I'm seeing something here. The first card out was divine timing. And it says, trust the universe. Okay. Second card was ghost avoidance. Alignment, vibration, and love letter. So what I'm getting here... It's because somebody, it's terrible though, because somebody ghosted you, okay, because somebody is avoiding you, it's literally like giving you your power back. It's literally aligning you and bringing your love in. That's what I'm getting, which is weird, like because somebody ghosted you, because somebody avoids you. Like, maybe somebody can't face you. Um, but how would that align you? Okay. Like, how would somebody ghosting you and avoiding you align you in order for your love to come in? It's different for everybody. But I'm trying to I'm trying to understand this because ghosting energy is very low vibrational. Like you shouldn't avoid situations. Um, you can take your time, but just to ghost it and just straight up not, you know, handle your situations, that's not good. But because somebody is not high vibrational enough for you. It pretty much puts you on like a level. Like I don't I'm trying to say it the best way I can. But it's like it puts you on a higher platform because somebody could not resonate as high as you. And maybe this was somebody that you wanted it to work out with, but because it did not work out and you kept rising, you aligned with your energy and you're going to find the right people. And I know I saw the forgiveness card here and then relationships at the bottom. So forgiveness. So it's like forgive them for not not being able to resonate at your level is the message that I'm getting now. Like forgive them for that. They were just meant for a certain part of your relationship they was only meant for a certain time in your relationship and you have to forgive them for not being able to face you or face the truth because it's just because they're not on that level that's it you have to be able to face the truth because facing the truth is going to help you align i knew it was going to come together Facing the truth is going to help you align. Like, facing the truth that they ghosted you. It's not because something is wrong with you or anything like that. It's because they couldn't face you. They couldn't align with your energy. And because of that, you kept elevating. And you're aligning with love here. And it says love letter. Love letter. Like something coming in, like an offer of love or, you know, someone extending their hand. You know exactly what you wanted this person to do that avoided you. It's like everything you wanted with that person, you're going to get with another person. Okay, I need a card. We got patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. It says every yo. It says I accept that everything happens in divine order, and this card says divine timing. Trust the universe. So definitely do have patience, and I believe that was the first thing I said when. Oh, that was probably in the other video when when divine timing came out. 
I said, okay, this is somebody that needs to have patience. And impatience is here. So that is also saying to have patience for that person, but not the kind of patience where you wait around for them. The kind of patience where you forgive them for not being as fast as you are or as elevated or as loving or as receptive. Um, you should have patience like like in a how can I say this in a way where you let them go at their own pace how about I say it like that it's not be patient for them to catch up that's not what I'm saying I mean like let them do it in their own time they couldn't do it in your time let them do it in their own time and forgive them for that because it's not their fault it's not their fault that you can't they can't resonate as high as you or they couldn't align or they couldn't give you the love that you was giving it's not their fault okay and then you got growth at the bottom it says i want to expand my consciousness and my awareness okay i'm pretty sure that's for the both of you i'm pretty sure because them ghosting you and avoiding you the fact of avoiding you takes a lot of energy it takes more energy to avo avoid somebody and go somebody because you know you know, you did something, you avoided something, you couldn't face something. And they're learning from that, and you're learning from that too. But you're learning in a way where it's aligning you here. It's aligning you. And that fell right under divine timing and trust the universe. You may not be aligned at this moment, but when you align 100%, things will change for you. Love will come into your life from unexpected places it does not always have to be a relationship but if it is that's nice too but always be open and receptive you know but growth that's for the both of you let me see it's at the top here relationships again i am attracted to those people who serve my higher good this is this was just for a moment it was just for a moment here that you were supposed to there was something that was supposed to be done in this relationship, and it is done. And you shouldn't expect anything more because they can't. You have to have patience, like patience for them because it fell over ghost and avoidance. But you also have to have patience for yourself. But this is this ghosting and avoidance energy is coming out for a reason. And I think that. My advice to you is to have patience for their journey and understanding that you're on a different path. You're going in a different place. You're going a different speed and you have to rise above it. Like, let's say you're holding on to something like that. Like you're holding on to the fact that this person avoided you or they ghosted you or you have to, first of all, let that go. And realize that there was nothing wrong with you. Realize that it was their own traumas and pains and inabilities and situations. It was their own stuff. You have to move on with that and align yourself. Let me get just one more. Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. It might not be something easy, maybe because you really had invested you know your thoughts into this or having something or you may have really wanted something with this person okay like something serious something stable but it didn't happen the way that you thought it would but you did come out with something you did come out of that relationship with something great and a different type of understanding but you do have to at this point you know move on they can't they can't resonate as high as you. They can't face you. So there's no point of even thinking that there's some type of possibility. Like you have, even if there is in the future, you have to move on. You have to leave it alone. You have to move on with your, with your journey here. Perseverance on top of trust the universe. Like you have to keep moving forward. You have to keep fighting for what you're fighting for. You have to keep raising your vibration. You have to keep aligning yourself, however many relationships that takes, because that's what life is about, 
relationships are to teach us something. That's why we have different types of relationships to de- to teach us different levels or different sides of ourselves. And it's twelve twelve on my clock. Different sides of ourself. That's why you have the intimate relationship, the friendship, the family, the work, the the I don't know. Different relationships that you have. But you have to keep aligning. Okay. Now you do have over here, it says unconditional love and acceptance. And I really think that's for yourself. That's really for yourself here. Because somebody that ghosts you and avoids you, they don't accept you. They don't unconditionally love you. That's not what unconditional love looks like. That's not what acceptance looks like. So this is not for them. This is for you. Unconditional love and acceptance for yourself. Loving yourself enough to just keep on pushing and keep on going after what it is that you know you deserve and knowing that you're going to get it because you worked for it. You may have worked towards the wrong person but because you used your energy to do the right thing and you had the right integrity, the universe is going to respond to you. It's not how you how somebody treats you. It's how you treat somebody. If you treat somebody good and they treat you like shit, the universe will see that. And they will give you what it is that you desire. But you have to do the work first. You have to earn that from the universe the universe is going to test you for how long i don't know but the universe is always going to test you to see if you deserve it or not and if you deserve it it will come in and i'm seeing right here the universe responding because when you're aligned you manifest you manifest you get what you want you might not get it from where you thought you was going to get it or how you thought or when you thought but when you align to certain energies, like let's say aligning to the concept of being faithful, okay? When you align to that concept, you could be in a relationship and they're sleeping around on you like crazy. It could be for five years, 10 years, whatever the case may be, how long you deal with it. But when you come out of that, knowing that you had a pure heart and knowing that you you treated somebody the right way, you will be aligned in some way, form or fashion to receive what it is that you deserve. But it's what you do. It's what you do first. So you trust the universe and you keep persevering for what it is that you believe in or that you give and that you know that you deserve. Black Moon Lilith mystery. Let me get another card out so I can see what it is that Black Moon Lilith wants us to know. Because this is something that you can't see. This is something, it says mystery on the card too. This is something that you cannot see. Like what's going on like in the dark over there because this fell on top of that ghosting energy like there's some type of raw nature behind this this person that ghosted you like they definitely wanted the wrong thing it was like how can i say whatever type of interaction this was they didn't want the same things that you wanted like there was something that was hidden within their emotions because this is Black Moon Lilith. There was something like a raw energy. It could have been, oh, look at that. It could have been something sexual. If it wasn't like, if it was like supposed to be like a friendship, it could be something sexual. Or if it was a relationship, it could be something else that that you were not completely aware of within the relationship. Like... 
I don't know how to say, you had your own vision and they had their own vision of what the relationship was. Like even, even down to you had your intentions and they had their intentions. And that's why they ghosted you. Because maybe those intentions was going to come out. Maybe those intentions did come out. But it gave you an opportunity to persevere for, for what it is that you want in life. And to align yourself with that. And let the relationships come to you that do align with you. And let this person that cannot resonate at your level that did not have the same intentions as you Okay. We got the 11th house of friends. I really got, I told you it was a friend. Somebody in your friend group. Somebody that it wasn't supposed to, it was just supposed to be like friends or it's supposed to be business. It's supposed to be helping each other and being there for each other. You know, like universal kind of love. Like, just the love of, you know, a human being. But with this Black Moon Lilith here right next to it, this person wanted more. And I think they figured out they wasn't going to get that. This says fifth house of creativity and trying blessings. Now, the fifth house is the house of sex. Like, just frivolous sex. Not the kind of sex where you're connected with somebody, but just like a raw, like, like a, a fling type energy. And then you got grand trying blessings. I don't know about that. Like, it makes me feel like they did want sex or they wanted something from you that they was not supposed to want with this black moon Lilith here. There was some type of intentions here. There was some type of intentions here. Like they wished for this or something. Like they wanted it. With this blessings card, the grand trine, like everything aligning in their favor in this fifth house. Like, I don't know. I'm not one of those kind of people. That's why I'm like, now I'm like, uh, Because like if you're a friend, you'll always be a friend. I can't, I don't sleep with my friends. I don't, that's not, that's... Look, people do what they want to do. I'm not one of those people. You can do what you want to do. I don't do that. If you're my friend, you're my friend. I don't care what's going on, what's going down, how long I know you. It don't even matter. I don't care if you're drunk and high and all types of shit. It's not going to go down. It's not going to go down. It's never going to go down. And that's the kind of energy. Like, we're all different, but it, what I'm looking at and how I feel about it, because I'm the one reading it, mm -mm, I'm not going for it. We're friends. That's not. That's a no-go right there. That's a no-go right there. But I think that this was something hidden. I don't think that you were supposed to notice. I don't think this was something that was apparent to you. I think that there was some type of attention. I mean, some type of intentions. Like, even when guys try to be like, you work at a job or whatever, and guys try to befriend you, but... They really want something else. They're really trying to get close to you for something else. And that's the kind of energy. That's why I'm like, uh, I know somebody's, I know people have been through this. I know people have been through this, okay? And then it says 10th house. And I just said, like, working somewhere. This is, this is work. It says the world. This is how the world connects is through work. What our jobs are, how we help people every day, what we bring to the world and other people every day at work. This is somebody at work. Ugh. Okay. Let's get into this tarot. Because now I'm like, they really, and that's probably why you had maybe a hard time letting it go. Or if you did, if you were not a, like aware of their intentions, you may have had a hard time letting go, letting it go, and wondering why they ghosted you, or wondered wondering why they don't deal with you no more. Maybe it's because you didn't take their advances. Now, if you noticed the shit, then you know what you know what I'm saying. But if you didn't notice it, I'm telling you right now, you need to let that shit go because they ghosted you because of their inabilities and their wishes not getting fulfilled. 
they didn't ghost you because of something that you did or it's just you see i'm yeah yeah what is this you cry <laughs> yeah <laughs> this is definitely crushing somebody like somebody look it's a page of wands wands is fire fire is sex and then you got the seven, I mean, the, um, the 10 of swords here. This is like telling somebody, ill. like, I'm not sleeping with you. What? <laughs> oh, yo, this is somebody's story. This is somebody's story. And whoever it is, they, I know they're fucking cracking up right now because it was like a, uh, I am not sleeping with you, page of wands. Like you gotta be like a king of wands, at least a knight. But you coming up in here with this page of wands energy? Uh-uh. What? We, it's not even, mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's not even going down like that. This is, oh, look, you got the six of, um, the six of damn cups here. They really thought it this was like a close connection. Like, maybe it was. Maybe it was in another life. Maybe they just don't even know why they were so connected with you or why they felt. Because Six of Cups is um, uh, Sun and Scorpio energy. So maybe they just really felt this sexual thing for you. There was just, just this deep, like, wanting you. And they just couldn't have you. And if they tried it, you shut that shit down real quick, like... Oh no, what you thought this was? Oh no, I can't do that. Like I, uh -uh. I'm trying to tell y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all walk right away from that shit. Y'all declined that offer real quick. Y'all, like with the 10 of swords here, I, I'm hoping that you didn't laugh in their face because you shut it the fuck down. It's the 10 of swords. It's not the nine, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. This is the damn tennis source. This is the ultimate like ending of any thought that you thought you was going to come up in here and try to get anything that ended it right there. I would be surprised if you didn't laugh in their face or something. I'm just saying, I'm being honest. I know it's somebody's story. I know it. I know it. But somebody been through this shit right here. But you need to know that this person had these intentions and you need to be, you need to, um, uh-uh. That's not what we do. We don't, we don't do that. We don't do that. We don't do that. Now, I can understand if you did your shit or whatever, okay? But we grow up and we don't do that. That's not how it goes down. We need, like, stability and shit. We need to have our job. We don't need to be caught up in no damn bullshit or no drama. Especially with somebody that you don't even see like that. You don't even see them like that. You saw them at, on some friend type shit, you know, but they had some other intentions. I'm trying to tell y'all. Let me get something else. So, so far, y'all done shut this, y'all done shut it down with this page of wands. Like, he already felt like he wasn't. <laughs> Yo, with this page of wands, he already felt like he wasn't good enough for you. He didn't even see himself in a bigger light. Like, uh, this is the page of one. This is a, this a kid. Not necessarily age-wise, but, like, in the mind, he did not see himself on your level. Unless you're, you're another page, but that's not my collective. We don't, we're not children. So he saw himself below you. And that's probably, no matter if you declined kindly, I'm pretty sure he took it as swords in his back or she okay or she because girls do it too okay mm. well you surely put that shit right in check like whatever it is you it's like i'm trying to tell you at first it was not balanced like they probably thought in a million years that it could happen and that's probably why they maybe kept their, the friendship or wanted to get closer or certain things like that. They probably thought, but you put that shit right in check. You balanced that shit right out. Anything that they thought was put right in check. And where are they now? Gone. Because they wasn't there for you. They wasn't there for you for the right reasons. 
like maybe what you thought, they wasn't there for that. They was there for something a little deeper, something a little more raw than a few laughs and a few memories. Okay. <laughs> that confusion. He's like, or she is like, wow, like, this is very balanced energy, though. This is the Ten of Swords, and then you got the Two of Swords down here, like, this V shape. It's almost like, <laughs> like, he had to eat it. Like, I just feel like it's, I don't know how to explain it. It feels like, like, these swords are falling into this, like, thing. Like, it's almost like a whirlwind. Like, it's going into, like, a cone, and he had to, like, it went straight to the dome. You get what I'm saying? Like, it went straight to the head. And he had to understand that and accept that 100%. That it's it's a it's a motherfucking no. It's never gonna happen. And he probably is still in his head about that shit. Still thinking about that shit. I mean, still trying to come to terms. Like this is not somebody that's like has a has a clear frame of mind. Like, and I really think it surrounds the fact that this was never revealed. That's what I really think this surrounds, and that's why it's coming out as this Two of Swords and them trying to balance it. But with this moon in the back right there, like, they must know something. They got to know something, or they must think something, or, yeah, this is, this is somebody that does not know. I think that maybe you don't know that you shut them down. Maybe, like... Maybe you shut them down and you you didn't even you weren't even aware of that. But they're definitely in this in-between state about this shutdown. Like they don't know how to feel about it. They're trying to understand it. They're trying to tap in. But still with this bond this blindfold here. But they're really trying to tap in. They're really trying to understand too. Wow, you see, that's why they ghosted you because they got all this damn mental block here. All this damn confusion about what you can't have. Look, that's I'm trying to tell you they wanted you. They wanted to be with you. They saw themselves in you. They felt something deeper. This person really had these intentions. I'm trying to tell you that's what this reading about. I'm letting you know right now this person had these intentions and some way, somehow you shut them down or you closed the door to them ever trying to go there with you. It's like maybe you saw their vulnerability. Maybe you saw their true colors, their true light. Maybe you saw something about them and you checked them, okay? And that shit shut them the fuck down and made them go into a confused state about this relationship mm -hmm. and walking away for something better balance that shit out look at this shit it went from he in a confused state to a sword to a cup but then the eight of cups wanting to have this relationship not knowing how but the two of so the the eight of cups come right after this two of cups meaning that this was not the end result this was not the last relationship this was not supposed to last like you were going to resonate higher this was a relationship for the time being and it did what it what needed to be done but what needed to be done is done and it's time to move on and you balance that shit out you balance this this page of wands out because it's right next to him you definitely balance that shit out and put every put everything in their place some way somehow i don't know how you did it but you balance that shit right out and you need to you need to get on your journey. You need to get it pumping. For real. And look what's at the bottom. The MasterCard. So that's all we need right here. And the King of Pentacles. If this was work related, you're about to you're gonna get a better job because either you let something go or you let some you you let something be known and you're gonna be blessed. You're gonna have abundance. You're gonna have the money that you need because you walked away. And I know this is a, it has to be about money 
or it has to be about the relationship because this is king of pentacles is also husband material so i'm just letting you know page of wands is not husband material page of wands is a damn child page of wands could never be a husband page of wands is still learning about their personal energy they're still learning about their personal energy like <sighs> this person was not on your level i'm sorry this person was not on your level and you're going to get somebody that's on your level because you're going to let this person go that could not resonate where you're resonating because they had these ulterior motives and shit. You're going to get where you're resonating at. You're going to get you're going to get what you get. OK, so I'm going to leave the reading right there. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for your like, share, subscribe so far. I really, really, really appreciate it because this is how we're going to elevate the collective. So I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.